Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a nice day today. I'll show you why. He said one to three inches. Right now we're at five or six. Always believe you meteorologist. Not. Say I get just got done shoveling, I don't know, 20 minutes ago and there's almost half an inch on the ground already. Unbelievable. Anyways, I figured I'd send you uh, do this video today, Sunday. I uh, bought something uh, last week. I was going to try doing a video on putting it together and stuff um, with my other camera, but that didn't want to pan out. So I figured I'd buy myself something that I wanted for a while, and we're going to use it today. We bought one of them. It's called a Z Grill Smoker Grill. I'm gonna smoke some uh, chicken for supper tonight. First time we're gonna use it, so I'm going to fire this up because I'm gonna get ready to do my chicken, and then uh, we'll show you the pro uh, some of the in between stuff that I'm gonna be doing here. Maybe I'll just show you. Uh, the um, aftermath of the chicken when it's done. It's gonna take about an hour to do, I guess, so. Stay tuned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this up. You just put it on, turn the button on, on O-N, and you hit the smoke. You hear the fan going, it'll say 32 degrees. Um, I'm gonna set it to 320, 350. No. Yeah, 350. It'll start climbing. It'll the firebox inside. I got everything pretty much the way you want it. So the firebox underneath is gonna start to ignite the pellets that are in here. And it'll start to uh, burn. And it'll get that. It'll stay. As um, constant temperature at 350 so I'll go get my chicken once that 350 hits we'll uh, throw the chicken on I'll show you then so we are almost at uh, almost 325 that was not about now 10 minutes not even five minutes I just went and grabbed the chicken yeah, I had the chicken all prepped already. So, yeah, it good. heats up pretty fast. Um, from the review, from what I was watching, it says an hour it takes this chicken will do. Um, but they said don't trust an hour use your meat thermometer so that's what I'm going to use anyways I always use the meat thermometer I wasn't going to put the plow on today either but the way it looks I'm going to have to put it on I hate putting it on right away after the first snowfall it brings everything up all the rocks and everything else and it's just terrible so another uh 10 degrees or less and we'll put the chicken on and we'll check it after an hour then hey guys welcome back to my channel today's Sunday the 13th December uh, yeah we had a little snow yesterday well Friday night and Saturday Saturday morning about 12 inches of snow and you know what we are cooking on the grill again today I figured do grilling on Sundays what are we cooking a little bit of ribs so yeah I've been uh, put these suckers on it so about 20 to 
3, 2.30, 23, something like that. I'm going to go and uh, put these, I'm going to do a 3, 2, 1 method. Um, I put these on at noon. So I'm going to wrap these up in foil. I put these on for the two more hours, let it heat up in there and, you know, for till about 4.30, 5 o'clock. And then put a uh, little barbecue sauce on them for an hour. I'll be eating. We'll talk to you a little later. Well, guys, it's kind of dark out here, but I'll show you. Maybe we'll see how the light goes. I just uh, took them off the two hour heat, uh, put barbecue sauce on it, and uh, it's another hour. But I think I'm going to only do it for another 45 minutes or so because. They are like coming off the bone already. So hopefully you guys can see that. Yes, no. They look delicious. Um, maybe I'll throw some more light on here on the subject. But yeah, they smell delicious. That might help a little bit. Oh yeah, that yeah. helped. So yeah, another 45 minutes and these suckers will be done. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, yeah, I'm not much going on. They're talking, uh, let's see, mid 40s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We we're supposed to have thunderstorms Wednesday night, Thursday night, 50 degrees on Thursday. So yeah, that's, not doing good for the ice conditions they say there's four inches up around here but when we got I don't know, 16 18 plus inches of snow on top of four inches of ice and it's not a good thing so I'm not sure what we're doing yet for ice fishing this year um, I don't know this year is gonna suck again so anyways I'll leave you on that note. I will, uh, I got this week yet for peak and next week is our Christmas thing at work. And then we should back to normal again, hopefully back to normal. Um, it all depends on, on how far behind. I don't think we are that far behind, but we could be. No one's saying nothing right now, so. Like I said, I'll leave you on that note. Just remember to like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later.